Chapter 11 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Way to Gain Luck Points Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, hi, if I had known that little Howe would make so much money today, I would have advised him to leave behind a large portion. That's our son's money after all. He can't possibly repay our debts. It's all my fault for being careless. The materials in the company are not cheap. Even if we sell the villa, it won't be enough. Also, I heard from my colleagues that there are two especially expensive ones. They're not something we can afford. Zhou Shuegua sighed repeatedly. Honey, you're talking about the scarlet blood vine and the rhino horn, right? Yes, they're also the main ingredients for the bone tempering pill. Wang Xuyin's voice was as low as a mosquito's fly. One bone tempering pill is worth 1 million yuan so the two main ingredients should be worth at least 500,000 yuan. Most importantly, such materials could only be obtained in the depths of the wilderness. Therefore, it was very difficult to buy it even if one had the money. Zhou Shuigua was silent for a moment. Honey, don't blame yourself. I'll think of a way. The leader came to talk to me today. There's a high chance that I'll be promoted. If I work harder and put in more hours, we should be able to pay it back. Our son gave us more than 100,000 yuan, so that should be enough for the cultivation resources and tuition fees for the next semester. Wang Shuyun sighed in heartache. That job of yours is too much for your body. You originally planned to change jobs, but now, I'm fine. I'll grit my teeth and get through it. All right, go to sleep. In the room. Zhou Hao listened to these words and suddenly understood. No wonder they couldn't even afford to pay the rent. It turned out that something had happened to his mother at work. Crimson blood vine, rhino horn, as a year three student, other than training normally, most of his lessons were on identifying materials and creatures from the foreign races. Therefore, he knew that these two materials were relatively rare. This incident must have put a lot of pressure on dad and mom. Dad's lumbar spine isn't good all year round and he even coughs from time to time. It's all because of his work environment. Now, he still has to persist because of this, Zhou Hao was no longer sleepy. He clenched his fists. Originally, a house purchase should be a happy experience, but he could feel that his parents were forcing a smile throughout the process. Without a doubt, it was the scarlet blood vine and the rhino horn that was making his parents unhappy. That made sense. It was already good enough for an ordinary family to not collapse under such pressure. I have to resolve this matter. I can't let dad and mom bear such heavy pressure. Zhou Hao made up his mind. With his current strength and the Heaven Dao software, he believed that he had the ability to resolve it. But at that moment, he suddenly thought of something very important. His luck points had run out. Without luck points, no matter how much money he had, he probably wouldn't get anything good. Then how should he increase his luck points? This was a very serious problem. Thinking of this, Zhou Hao couldn't sleep anymore. He got up and started studying the Heaven Dao software. This luck point system was unique to him. Thus, he could not communicate with others at all and could only slowly figure it out himself. However, after trying for a long time, he still could not figure it out. It was almost midnight. Just as he was about to give up, he heard the buzzing of insects again. Without thinking, Zhou Hao slapped the flying insect to death. Ding! A faint sound could be heard, making his heart skip a beat. He opened the virtual screen and saw that his luck points had increased from zero to one. I slapped a green flying bug to death, and my luck actually increased by a little. Zhou Hao thought of a possibility, and his heartstrings instantly tightened. As if he had grabbed onto a life.saving straw, he stared fixedly at the other green flying insects. Without hesitation, he attacked at lightning speed. Slap, slap, slap. He directly swatted three green flying insects to death. At the same time, he looked at the luck points from the corner of his eyes. 
Indeed. Dot his luck points had increased by three points. It was now four points. Upon seeing this, Zhou Hao's face revealed an irrepressible excitement. For the past two days, he had been thinking of ways to obtain luck points. He had even tried all kinds of methods, but they were all fruitless. Now, he had finally found it. Seeing the large number of green flying insects pouncing over, the disgust in Zhou Hao's eyes disappeared. These green flying insects were no different from luck points that floated around. Slap, slap, slap. Zhou Hao's palm was like a phantom as he crazily swatted the green flying insects. After swatting the flying insects in the room, he still wasn't satisfied. He secretly got up from the bed and crazily swatted the flying insects in the residential area. At the same time, his luck points was increasing rapidly. 920, 921, 922, 1790, 1791, 1792. Chapter 12 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Full of Luck Points Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios After 3 to 4 hours, not only did Zhou Hao kill all the flying insects in the residential area, but he also went outside to kill a large number of flying insects. There were just too many of them. Zhou Hao only stopped when he was so tired that he could not breathe. After scanning his luck points, his eyes widened. Luck points. 9999, Prosperous Cow Luck. It's almost 10,000, but it seems like there are even classifications based on the number of luck points. Zhou Hao was pleasantly surprised, but his eyes were filled with confusion. Slap. Slap. Another flying insect flew over. He missed a few times before swatting it to death. At this moment, the luck points changed again. Luck points. 10,000, overwhelming luck. It changes to overwhelming luck at 10,000 luck points. Zhou Hao was excited again. Although, prosperous cow luck was not bad, it did not sound as good as overwhelming luck. I wonder what the next classification will be. Who cares? I'll just keep swatting. Zhou Hao rested for a while before getting busy again. After tossing and turning for most of the night, he only returned home satisfied after having finished swatting all the flying insects nearby. Looking at the mystery box in the Heaven Dao software, his hand itched several times, wanting to do it again. But he held back every time. He decided to accumulate more luck points until opening the next mystery box. The next day, on the way to school, he still did not let go of any green flying insects, swatting them along the way. The other students were also killing the green flying insects. These flying insects were all spies of the insect race and could not be left alone. Otherwise, they might gain valuable insight about the human cities. Zhou Hao felt heartbroken as he watched, but he was unable to stop others from killing the green flying insects. He could only speed up his pace and chase after more green flying insects. Pooh. 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 One green flying insect after another exploded and died. Zhou Hao was like a diligent bee, busy and happy, not letting go of any green flying insects. Is this guy crazy? He's fighting the flying insects so diligently. They're just a bunch of insect race lackeys. Killing them is only good when we want to vent our anger. Yet this guy seems to be treating them as some powerful insect warrior. Let's go. Those that don't have the ability to kill the worms outside the city can only bully the flying insects. Many students passed by Zhou Hao and sneered. Zhou Hao didn't care at all and continued to kill the flying insects crazily. At the same time, the luck points on the virtual screen soared rapidly. It had already reached 12,380, but there were still no changes to the luck level. It was still stuck at overwhelming luck. When Zhou Hao arrived at the classroom, Zhang Yi walked up to him. Immediately, Zhou Hao noticed the dark circles under Zhang Yi's eyes, clearly due to him not sleeping well last night. 
anyone would not be able to sleep well after suddenly obtaining 200,000 yuan. Zhou Hao, thank you. He wasn't good with words and did not know how to properly express his gratitude. Zhou Hao smiled. That was the result of your hard work. By the way, here's the 1,000 yuan I borrowed from you. Zhang Yi hurriedly waved his hand and wanted to refuse. Zhou Hao's face darkened. Zhang Yi, if you treat me as a friend, accept it. Zhang Yi was silent for a moment before nodding heavily. All right, I'll take it. The day's lesson quickly ended. Seeing that Su Ling was about to leave the classroom, Zhou Hao stopped her. Su Ling, this is the 10,000 yuan I borrowed from you last time. Su Ling stopped and turned around. Her delicate and fair face was cold. How did you get the money, she asked, her voice still cold. I won it from betting on the tournament, Zhou Hao said casually. Su Ling snorted. I knew it. You don't have any other abilities. Luck won't always be on your side. If you really do care, you should think about how to increase your strength. With that, she turned around and left without looking back. Looking at Su Ling's graceful back, Zhou Hao shook his head lightly. He knew that their relationship could not go back to the past, but the other party's words just now seemed to reveal concern. Perhaps he was thinking too much. Suppressing the distracting thoughts in his mind, he stood up and left the classroom. After leaving the school, he did not directly go to Yang Garden residence. Instead, he controlled his facial muscles to change his appearance and took the subway to leave Chu City. In the center of Huadong City. In front of the tall underground Alliance Mall, fluorescent lights flashed. Zhou Hao, who was on the subway, tightened his clothes and hood. He looked at the constantly flowing crowd and quickly walked in. If he wanted to resolve the pressure his parents were facing, he had to go to the wilderness area. However, the wilderness area was extremely dangerous, and countless human experts had died there. He had yet to figure out his true strength so it was still unwise for him to rashly go to the wilderness area. To be safe, Zhou Hao thought he could accept some small missions and slowly familiarize himself with his strength. He could also use the time to learn more about the wilderness area. It would not be too late to enter the wilderness area after he understood more. The missions provided in the Underground Alliance Mall were also not difficult and were very suitable for the current Zhou Hao. Most importantly, he could also test if he could gain luck points from killing other foreign races in the wilderness. If it could, then it wouldn't be long before he became rich. After all, that would mean that the wilderness was full of luck points. .org. Chapter 13 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Special Mission Translator. Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios The Mission Hall was located on the fifth floor of the mall. Zhou Hao arrived at the fifth floor and was about to enter the hall when two burly men in black suits stretched out their hands to stop him. This is the Mission Hall of the Underground Alliance Mall, so only martial artists are allowed to enter. Please show your martial artist identification, the man on the left said coldly. Zhou Hao was stunned for a moment before coming to a realization. That made sense. There were no restrictions nor were there any requirements for identification, but that did not mean that they did not check for strength. After all, even the missions of the lowest level would be carried out outside the city. And outside the city, without the strength of a martial artist, survival alone would be very difficult. However, Zhou Hao did not have a martial artist identification. He had only recently increased his strength and had yet to go to the Martial Artist Union to undergo testing and registration. After thinking for a moment, he suddenly threw a punch into the air. Bang! The air exploded like a bowstring. The two men in black suits immediately widened their eyes. This, this guy could cause a phenomenon with just a casual punch. He was definitely a high dot level martial artist. Can I go in now? Zhou Hao asked calmly. Yes, yes. This way, sir. The two men in black suits immediately said respectfully. They were extremely humble and even bowed. 
Zhou Hao slowly walked into the hall. The hall was magnificent and spacious. In the middle of the room was a huge electronic screen, on which a large number of missions were constantly being refreshed. However, most of the martial artists gathered at the nearby mission counter. Zhou Hao was not in a hurry. He did not have a clear understanding of his strength yet. It was not appropriate for him to rashly accept a mission. After browsing for a while, he asked the receptionist at the counter. Finally, he decided on a guarding mission. Although the reward for such a mission was not high, the danger was comparatively low, and it was very suitable for Zhou Hao to test out his strength. The guarding mission required seven martial artists. Perhaps because the reward was low, Zhou Hao waited for a while before the other martial artists gathered. All the good missions have been snatched. I can only accept such a low dot level guarding mission. It can't be helped. Us weak martial artists have no organization or faction to support us, so there's no way we'll be able to get the good missions. That's right. After this, I'm prepared to take a risk and strive to be promoted to an intermediate dot level martial artist so that I could join a team. A few men and women discussed in low voices. They did not think much of such a low dot level guarding mission. Zhou Hao stood at the edge and did not say a word. He knew that these people around him were all martial artists that demanded respect. After all, martial artists could earn tens of thousands of yuan just by casually making a trip to the wilderness area. The reward for this low dot level guarding mission was only 10,000 yuan. For them, it was indeed very low. Let's go. The mission location is at the southern station of the city. Let's go there first, a tall burly man said. The others, including Zhou Hao, nodded. After leaving the Underground Alliance Mall, the other martial artists each got into their own cars, except for Zhou Hao. Little brother, come sit in my car. The tall burly man patted the passenger seat and grinned. In his eyes, Zhou Hao was a martial artist given that only martial artists were allowed to enter the mission hall. Although Zhou Hao looked thin and weak, the other party did not have any intention of looking down on him. Zhou Hao did not refuse him for the sake of being polite and sat in the front passenger seat. Boom! The car was a Falcon Series hover car, and it was extremely fast. It was also Zhou Hao's first time sitting in such a luxurious car. Apparently, the price for the car alone exceeded 200,000 yuan. Half an hour later, the group arrived at the southern station of the city. Groups of fully armed soldiers stood upright at the entrance. On both sides were large dot caliber divine ambush cannons. These cannons were imitations of the cannons from the machine race and could easily tear apart the demon race and the insect race general dot level experts. However, this was only the third line of defense. There were two more lines of defense ahead, with more powerful weapons. You are the temporary martial artist team that accepted the guarding mission this time, right? Just as Zhou Hao and the others arrived, a man in glasses walked over. The tall burly man nodded. The man in glasses swept his eyes over the tall burly man, Zhou Hao, and the others and frowned slightly. He said, you guys go and change into standard armor. Go to the weapon room next door. There will be specialized personnel to distribute it to you. There's even standard armor. This guarding mission is probably not simple. The other martial artists were shocked as they walked towards the exclusive weapon room beside the door. Although the standard armor's defense was not strong and could only resist the low dot level warriors of the demon race and the insect race, each set of armor was worth more than 500,000 yuan. Low dot level martial artists like the tall burly man also had their own armor, as it was necessary to them. However, unless it was a relatively dangerous mission, they generally wouldn't wear it. This was because repairing armor required a lot of money. And if the armor was completely damaged, they would have to buy another set. Soon, the seven of them changed into standard armor. This armor could even change its color according to the environment. This was the first time Zhou Hao had worn armor. He realized that not only was the armor not heavy, it was actually very light and convenient. 
It was as if he was wearing a coat that did not affect his movements at all. This mission is very important. Although you are a temporary martial artist, you still have to take it seriously. For this mission, you will be protecting the outstanding students selected by the various high schools. Each of them is a third-level blood essence genius. Their potential is extraordinary, and we can't afford to lose them, the man in glasses said with an abnormally serious expression. The tall burly man and the other martial artists nodded. No wonder everyone was given standard armor. It turned out that their mission was to protect the genius students of the various high schools. Ten minutes later, a bus arrived. The bus door opened and eight students and eight bodyguards got out one after another. Zhou Hao's pupils constricted slightly when he saw these students. Su Ling was among them. Chapter 14 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Mutated Beast Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios However, Zhou Hao's confusion did not last long. Su Ling was a third-level blood essence genius of Chu City High School. Her family background was not unimpressive either. Now that she was about to graduate, she would definitely start training and prepare to break through to become a real martial artist. He also looked at the other unfamiliar students. Zhou Hao suddenly realized that this might be the joint strength test of the various high schools. Zhou Hao was right. However, what Zhou Hao did not know was that the sudden joint strength test was only being carried out because the leaders of the schools had been triggered by the appearance of a peerless genius. Just as Zhou Hao was thinking. The man in glasses walked forward and said to Su Ling and the other seven genius students, your mission is to obtain white wolf horns. The more you obtain, the richer your reward will be. Your bodyguards aren't allowed to help. They're only responsible for your safety. The other temporary martial artist team we assigned is also only responsible for dealing with sudden situations. All of you will have to rely on yourselves. The white wolf was a demon beast with a warrior level. If nothing goes wrong, a third level blood essence student should be able to kill it. Su Ling and the other students had also made preparations before coming. Their expressions did not change. Let's go. Click. The heavy iron door slowly opened under the strong spotlight. Zhou Hao and the six other martial artists walked in front, with Su Ling, the other students, and the bodyguards following closely behind. After passing through three lines of defense, they arrived outside the city. After leaving the city, they noticed that the surroundings suddenly changed. In their sights, Thousands of meters tall ancient trees flourished, their branches and leaves covering the sky and sun. Weeds covered the ground, and the leaves were sharp like blades. Under the envelopment of darkness, they seemed abnormally sinister. It was simply impossible for anyone to drive in such an environment. It was even more complicated than a primitive forest. The group could only walk with their feet. Because they were accompanying Su Ling and the other students, the tall burly man and the other martial artist did not travel very fast. It took more than ten minutes for the whole group to travel thousands of meters. At this location, even the city's lighthouse could no longer be seen. Large numbers of weeds and bushes of various colors covered the surroundings. Be careful. We're already in the wilderness area, the tall burly man reminded as he prepared to fight at any moment. The other martial artists in the temporary team were the same. The bodyguards behind them had solemn expressions. They naturally knew how dangerous the wilderness area was. Although Zhou Hao had never left the city, his perfected advanced cultivation technique had allowed his blood essence to circulate smoothly moreover, his six senses had been enhanced a hundredfold and he could even hear noises as far as a thousand meters away. Therefore, he was not nervous at all. Su Ling and the other genius students also weren't too bothered. Hey, aren't you guys too nervous? We haven't even gone far. That's right. According to the information we have, traces of the demon race, the insect race, and other foreign races will only appear when we're 10,000 meters away from the city. On the other hand, we've only walked thousands of meters, 
so will at most encounter some mutated beasts. Most of the mutated beasts have ordinary strength and used to be wild creatures native to planet Earth. There's nothing to fear. A few students in excellent armor said one after another indifferently. They were only at the third level of blood essence, but their armor and equipment far surpassed the standard armor Zhou Hao and the others were wearing. The mutated beasts couldn't even break through the defense of their armor. On the other hand, the delicate Su Ling was extremely nervous. This was the first time she had left the city to participate in such a strength test. However, she also felt that what the other students said was reasonable. This place was only a thousand meters away and it was unlikely for them to encounter threatening demons or insects. Moreover, the bodyguards they brought with them this time were all intermediate dot level martial artists. Even if there were low dot level troops from the demon race and the insect race, the bodyguards could easily deal with them. The tall burly man smiled. It's better to be careful. He had accepted many guarding missions in the past and was already used to the reactions of these geniuses and young masters who had never seen the danger outside the city. The other five martial artists from the temporary team acted the same way, not feeling surprised at all. The bodyguards of Su Ling and the other genius students also reminded them to be careful in low voices. What's there to be afraid of? In my opinion, we should speed up our journey and arrive at the mission area as soon as possible, a genius student said impatiently. Boom. Just as he finished speaking. A python more than ten meters long suddenly rushed out from the weeds. It's a mutated beast. The tall burly man shouted as a blade was suddenly flung out from his hand. He took a step forward and charged forward. Another armed martial artist from the team fired. Dot the special alloy bullet accurately landed on the python's eye. Pooh. Blood immediately exploded from the python's eyes, and its speed was reduced. The tall burly man seized the opportunity and gripped the alloy blade tightly. He turned sideways and suddenly slashed at the python's head. Click. The sharp alloy blade cut off the python's head like tofu. Su Ling and the other eight genius students were shocked by the sudden appearance of the mutated beast, but when they saw that the team of martial artists had easily dealt with the python, their expressions relaxed. Look, what did I tell you? It's just a mutated beast. It's very weak. Yeah, the next time we encounter any mutated beasts, leave it to us. We need to practice anyway. Zhou Hao had long heard the commotion of the python hidden in the bushes. Among the group of people, he was the only one who did not move. I wonder if killing a mutated beast will give me luck points. Looking at the headless python, he wondered if he should try killing one next time. He had already seen the effect of the luck points. The group continued to walk along the target area. After walking for about 7 or 8 kilometers, Zhou Hao's ears suddenly twitched, and he came to a stop. Chapter 15 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Prosperous Cow Luck Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios, what's wrong? The tall burly man asked subconsciously. There's movement, Zhou Hao whispered. The tall burly man and the other martial artists and bodyguards were immediately on high alert. Su Ling and the other genius students were also slightly nervous. After all, the place they were at was already almost 10,000 meters away from the city. However, several minutes passed and nothing happened. Chi, what kind of a martial artist are you? You're too nervous. The tall burly man frowned and was about to speak when his gaze immediately swept over. Be careful. A white figure attacked at lightning speed and threw the student who spoke to the ground. Bang! A silenced sniper gun sounded and pierced through the white figure's head. Only then did the group see that it was a huge white wolf. Swoosh! 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 The gunshot was like a stone that caused a thousand ripples. Almost instantly, white figures pounced over from the surrounding ancient trees and weeds. Start fighting! The tall burly man shouted. 
the six martial artists, including Zhou Hao, immediately attacked. The bodyguards hesitated. After all, these white wolves were the mission targets. Unless the students were in danger, they were not allowed to intervene. Pooh. Pooh. The number of white wolves increased. What are you all waiting for? The situation has changed. The tall burly man roared. The appearance of so many white wolves was clearly different from what they had expected. Luck points plus 15. Luck points plus 20. As the bodyguards began to attack, Zhou Hao easily killed the white wolves that pounced at him. The strength of these white wolves was too weak in his opinion. They were almost no different from the green insects that the insect race sent to gather intelligence. A normal punch was enough to shatter their organs. Therefore, Zhou Hao focused most of his energy on the luck points on the virtual screen. The increasing numbers made him very happy. Roar! As the bodyguards attacked, the large group of white wolves quickly became dispirited. Suddenly, a single wolf's howl exploded in the night. A large number of white wolves quickly retreated, but then white wolves that were as large as tanks appeared. There were white curved horns on their foreheads. Unlike the white wolves from before, these wolves had two lines running down their horns. Not good. Those are intermediate.level demon warriors. The bodyguards' expressions turned unsightly. The white wolf's strength was determined by the number of lines on their curved horn lines. The more lines there were, the stronger it was. This time, the students were only supposed to fight white wolves with no lines on their horns. The white wolves who had attacked them earlier already had a single line on their horns. Now, white wolves with two lines on their horns had appeared. Not to mention the students, even their bodyguards would be surrounded and killed if they were careless. More importantly, for the intermediate.level demon warriors to be attacking like this, there had to be a white wolf demon general behind them. Retreat. The tall burly man shouted. This situation exceeded the scope of the mission. BDNVL.M Boom. 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 The huge white wolves began to attack. Su Ling and the other students were already frightened to their cores. All of them were lying on the ground, looking at the tank-sized giant wolves with pale faces. The tall burly man was speechless. He didn't even have time to curse and could only shout at the bodyguards, quickly send a distress signal to the base. We can only last for a minute at most. And that was him being generous. They probably wouldn't even last a minute. If the dozen or so intermediate.level demon warriors besieged them together, the white wolves would definitely be able to tear them apart in ten seconds. We lost this time. The tall burly man and the other martial artist looked at each other and saw the bitterness in each other's eyes. No one expected that a low.level guarding mission would actually put them in a desperate situation. Pooh. Pooh. The bodyguards were not weak and were doing their best to resist. However, the frightened Su Ling and the other students had become a burden. They were all lying motionless, forcing the bodyguards to stay beside them. Soon, more than ten seconds passed. Just as the tall burly man thought that the white wolves had had enough fun and were about to attack, he suddenly realized that half of the dozens of giant wolves were gone. The other martial artists also discovered this and were stunned. Look, a female martial artist exclaimed. The tall burly man and the other martial artist, as well as the bodyguards and the students, looked at a pile of weeds not far away. Huge wolf corpses were piled up like a small mountain. It's that young brother. His, his strength, the tall burly man's eyes widened. He watched as Zhou Hao casually punched, making the intermediate.level demon warriors, which they had fought so hard to deal with, fall to the ground, twitching and lifeless. 35, 38. 40, Zhou Hao causally punched and killed one tank.sized wolf after another. He was even counting the number of wolves he killed leisurely. These intermediate.level demon warriors did not even have the qualifications to make him use his blood essence. 
The robust blood essence foundation brought about by the 108 levels of dragon elephant wisdom technique had far surpassed Zhou Hao's expectations. The strength it enhanced was even stronger than the combined strength of dozens of dragon elephants. With a casual punch, Zhou Hao could shatter the body of an intermediate dot level demon warrior. An intermediate dot level demon warrior can get me 200 luck points, 10 times more that of a low dot level demon warrior. Zhou Hao thought to himself as he swept his gaze over the virtual screen. Luck points 9722, current level. Prosperous Cow Luck. Once again, Zhou Hao was close to reaching 10,000 luck points. Last time at school, he had to spend 3 to 4 hours swatting green insects. But now, he had only spent 5 to 6 minutes killing demon warriors and had already earned almost the same amount. Looks like I'll have to kill high level demon beasts if I want to earn luck points quickly. Patting his hands, he checked his surroundings, only after confirming that there were no more giant wolves pouncing towards did he finally turn around to walk towards the tall burly man. Chapter 16 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. High Level Demon General Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios At this moment, the tall burly man and the other martial artists were dumbfounded. After all, that was an intermediate dot level demon warrior. To defeat one, even intermediate dot level martial artists had to go all out. High dot level martial artists also had to spend some effort to kill it. But what about Zhou Hao? He killed it as if he was killing a chicken. Only a master dot level expert can do that. He's definitely a master expert. The martial artists of the temporary team and the bodyguards shouted excitedly. Zhou Hao walked over and saw that the tall burly martial artist was covered in blood. He could not help but ask, are you guys alright? I doubt I'm fine. The tall burly man hurriedly waved his hand and said gratefully, thank you, master, for your help. Master. Zhou Hao was stunned. The experts above the martial artists were masters. Each of them was an important figure in the city. In the past, Zhou Hao didn't even dare to think about becoming a master. Now, he actually managed to reach such a level. In a way, it made sense. For Zhou Hao to be able to easily kill those intermediate dot level demon warriors, he would have needed a master's combat strength. However, Zhou Hao knew very well that he had relied entirely on his deep foundation. His true strength had yet to reach the level of master. Dot, Miss Su, quick, get up. Let's thank the master for his help. Young Master Hui, hurry up and get up. If not for the master, we would all be done for. Young Master Jean is lucky to have the protection of a master. You must make the best out of this opportunity. The bodyguards regained their senses and hurriedly pulled up Su Ling and the other students who were lying on the ground. They whispered anxiously into their ears. Su Ling and the other students were dumbfounded. A master. They were actually protected by a master. Young Master Jean was especially frightened, especially since he had earlier said that Zhou Hao was being too nervous. He was so frightened that his entire body trembled, and he wanted to cry but had no tears to shed. What are you all waiting for? Quick, thank him. The bodyguards urged. Su Ling and the other students finally reacted and stepped forward one by one. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Zhou Hao looked at Su Ling and the other genius students and sighed with emotion. A while ago, he was still just an ordinary poor student who had not even reached the first level of blood essence. If he had stood in front of these genius students without his newfound strength, they probably wouldn't even look at him. But now, they were thanking him respectfully. Strength. This is the change brought about by strength. Zhou Hao yearned to become even stronger after this. Boom. Just as Zhou Hao was about to say that there was no need to be polite, a violent sonic boom sounded not far away. In a few seconds, a figure appeared in front of everyone. When the tall burly man saw this figure, he immediately addressed him, Battalion Commander Chu. 
The other martial artists also shouted, Battalion Commander Chu. Battalion Commander Chu swept his sharp gaze over everyone. Seeing that the students were fine, he heaved a sigh of relief. Fortunately, we made it. Battalion Commander Chu. Su Ling and the other students were all from rich families. Naturally, they knew that Battalion Commander Chu was a master dot level expert who was in charge of guarding the defensive line at the city's southern station. However, with their statuses, they usually did not have the chance to see such a figure. Even their elders and parents rarely saw someone like Battalion Commander Chu. Mm. Two lines on the horns. Intermediate. Level. After Battalion Commander Chu relaxed, he finally noticed the giant wolf corpses on the ground. Not bad. Since you're able to kill intermediate dot level demon warriors, I can tell that you guys are pretty strong. You didn't slack off just because you became some rich family's bodyguard. He couldn't help but praise the personal bodyguards. The bodyguards were ashamed. Out of all the corpses, they were only responsible for two that were currently in front of them. The eight bodyguards had worked together with the tall burly man and the other martial artists from the temporary team to kill them. Two intermediate dot level demon warriors probably weren't enough to warrant a distress signal, right? Battalion Commander Chu frowned again. The tall burly man coughed lightly and pointed at the weed pile not far away. Battalion Commander Chu, there's more over there. Battalion Commander Chu turned to look in the direction the finger pointed at. He was shocked the moment he saw the corpses. Good lord. There were at least forty giant wolf corpses. Who killed them? Did a master dot level expert pass by? Battalion Commander Chu asked. The tall burly man hurriedly said, Yes, it was this master here who helped us. Battalion Commander Chu could not help but look at Zhou Hao. You, a master. Suspicion surged in his eyes. He was suspicious because Zhou Hao's blood essence did not have a powerful aura, and Zhou Hao's eyes also seemed ordinary. He was completely different from the other masters. What he didn't know was that Zhou Hao's 108 meridians had all been opened, and his blood essence was circulating continuously and smoothly. It was impossible to tell just by looking at Zhou Hao's appearance. Roar. Suddenly, within a thousand meters, a terrifying aura soared into the sky with a shocking wolf howl. The ground shook incessantly as demon flames surged into the sky. A terrifying pressure swept over from all directions like a surging flood. In the dark sky, two blood dot colored lights pierced through. Su Ling and the other students were instantly enveloped by the lights. Only then did the tall burly man and the other martial artists see that the lights were actually coming from two terrifying eyes. And above these eyes was an extremely striking blue horn. The three lines on the horn were even more obvious. Not good. It's the blue horn blood wolf. A high dot level demon general. Not only did the expressions of the temporary team's martial artists change drastically, even the bodyguards' faces turned pale. Battalion Commander Chu's eyes were also filled with anxiety. Chapter 17 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Two Week. Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios, how could this be? How could this be? How could there be a high dot level demon general within 10,000 meters of the city? What are those guys from the intelligence department doing? Battalion Commander Chu cursed repeatedly. High dot level demon generals were extremely powerful and could easily destroy a small city. Their destructive power was not inferior to a small nuclear bomb. In front of such a beast, even a master dot level expert had to flee frantically. Only a grandmaster would be able to remain calm when facing such a demon beast. Battalion Commander Chu wanted to escape, but he knew that he couldn't. If he escaped, then the students and the temporary team that were left behind would definitely die without intact corpses. Quick, take the students and leave. I'll lure the Blue Horn Blood Wolf away. Battalion Commander Chu shouted frantically. 
Bang! As soon as he finished speaking, the blue horn blood wolf's claw slapped over at lightning speed. Battalion Commander Chu was sent flying hundreds of meters away before he could even react. Fortunately, he was wearing General Dot level armor that weakened the attack. He was only severely injured and had fallen unconscious. The tall burly man and the others were instantly dumbfounded. They had never expected that Battalion Commander Chu, a master dot level expert, would be knocked unconscious by the blue horn blood wolf in a single move. Is this the terrifying strength of a high dot level demon general? The martial artists, bodyguards, Su Ling, and the other students were in despair. Even a master dot level expert was no match for her. At this moment, no one could save them. They could only wait for death. Woo woo, I don't want to die. I haven't become a martial artist yet. Several students broke down and cried. Dot Su Ling also cried. She didn't want to die either. The blue horn blood wolf's blood dot red eyes gazed mockingly as it approached step by step. No one could remain calm in the face of death. Just as they thought they were going to die in the wilderness, a figure moved. It was Zhou Hao. The blood essence in his entire body was like an abyss. Waves of extremely terrifying blood essence pressure spread out thousands of meters around him like mountains. All of a sudden, the flourishing weeds started dancing crazily. Even the towering ancient trees that were almost a hundred meters tall shook violently. Zhou Hao's 108 meridians circulated automatically, and his blood essence surged. He took a step forward and clenched his fist. And then. Boom. The air exploded with a deafening bang. The terrifying force was like a comet colliding. It instantly spread across the blue horn blood wolf's body that was hundreds of meters tall. Roar. The blue horn blood wolf's fur and bones, which could even withstand a missile bombardment, shattered like an eggshell under this punch. The roar of pain tore through the sky, but it quickly stopped. Its huge body that was hundreds of meters tall smashed heavily onto the ground, raising a large amount of dust. Zhou Hao retracted his fist and looked at the hundred dot meter dot tall body in front of him in a daze. Dead. Just like that. The high dot level demon general dot level blue horn blood wolf was so weak that it even surprised Zhou Hao. He had only used less than 20% of his strength in that punch just now. He originally thought that it would take more effort to finish the blue horn blood wolf, but he never expected to be able to do it with a single punch. Looks like the increase in blood essence brought by the 108th levels of the dragon elephant wisdom technique is even greater than I imagined. Zhou Hao pondered. A high dot level demon general's combat strength could match a grandmaster. For him to kill the blue horn blood wolf with a single punch, his combat strength should have reached the level of a high level grandmaster. Maybe even a peak dot level grandmaster. At that moment, Zhou Hao had a clearer understanding of his strength. He was rather excited. One had to know that in a large city like the Huadong City, high dot level grandmasters had the highest combat strength. In other words, with his current combat strength, Zhou Hao could already oversee a large city. However, Zhou Hao knew that he had yet to even refine and master his strength. His entire body was at the blood essence level, so he was still in the same realm as a martial artist. The reason why his combat strength was so strong was completely due to the enhancement effect brought about by the hundredth level of the dragon elephant wisdom technique. After finding the scarlet blood vine and the rhino horn, I also have to quickly obtain a higher dot level cultivation technique. Since his blood essence had improved so much, Zhou Hao was very excited about how much his combat strength would increase once he reached Grandmaster level. Zhou Hao habitually glanced at the virtual screen. His luck points had increased to 29,722, current level. Overwhelming luck. After killing a high dot level demon general, his luck points had increased by 10,000 points. Zhou Hao was immediately overjoyed. As expected, killing high dot level demon beasts would greatly increase his luck points. 
My luck points have almost reached 30,000 and yet it still says, overwhelming luck. I wonder when I will be able to get to the next level. Although he had only opened the mystery box once, Zhou Hao vaguely guessed that the more luck points one accumulated, the higher the level, and the higher the chances of opening a rare dot level item. Since I've already come to the wilderness area, I will be able to accumulate more luck points. Zhou Hao pondered secretly. It seemed that killing high dot level demon beasts and other high dot level foreign race beings was the fastest way to accumulate luck points. In the city, he could only kill some green insects, so his luck points accumulation speed was very slow. You, you're a grandmaster dot level expert. At this moment, a trembling voice interrupted Zhou Hao's thoughts. Chapter 18 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. So you're already a Grandmaster, Level Expert Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios Zhou Hao turned around and saw the tall burly man, the temporary team members, the bodyguards, and Su Ling and the other six students. They were all standing respectfully at the side, their eyes filled with burning worship. If only a Grandmaster is capable of killing a blue horn blood wolf, then I suppose you can consider me as a grandmaster. Level expert. Zhou Hao said indifferently. The tall burly man, Su Ling, and the others were excited as they hurriedly said, Thank you, grandmaster, for saving our lives. The group bent over at a 180 degree angle. Their gratitude and admiration for Zhou Hao had reached a peak. After all, when they were in despair and on the verge of collapse, it was Zhou Hao who had killed the blue horn blood wolf and saved them. Cough cough, quick, run. Suddenly, a weak cough sounded from afar. Everyone looked over and saw the unconscious battalion commander Chu gradually waking up. He struggled to stand up and shouted towards Zhou Hao and the others. Quickly help battalion commander Chu up, said Zhou Hao immediately. As the battalion commander of the base's defense line, battalion commander Chu had contributed greatly to the well-being of the city. Zhou Hao had a lot of respect for him. The tall burly man and the other martial artists hurriedly rushed over. No need, don't worry about me, cough cough, what are you all waiting for? Run! Battalion commander Chu revealed an anxious expression. His armor's defense had been weakened. However, since the Blue Horn Blood Wolf had not used much strength in its attack, Battalion Commander Chu's injuries were not serious. Um, Battalion Commander Chu, the Blue Horn Blood Wolf is dead, the tall burly man said. Why are you still joking with me at a time like this? Nonsense. Battalion Commander Chu was anxious. The tall burly man was speechless. He pointed at the corpse of the giant wolf that was more than a hundred meters in size. Battalion Commander Chu, I'm really not joking. Battalion Commander Chu followed his finger and turned his head. With one look. His mind went blank. After a long while, Battalion Commander Chu finally reacted. He hurriedly dodged over and carefully approached the blue horn blood wolf. He probed it in various ways to confirm that the high dot level demon general dot level blue horn blood wolf was really dead. Ha ha ha. The path of the heavens does not end. Battalion commander Chu laughed and looked at the tall burly man. Which grandmaster came to help? To be able to kill the blue horn blood wolf, one has to at least have the strength of an intermediate dot level grandmaster. As he spoke, he continued to guess. In the entire Huadong city, probably only president he has the strength and also the time to arrive on time and resolve the matter. After all, he's an intermediate dot level grandmaster who's in charge of a martial artist union branch. As soon as he finished speaking, a rumbling sound suddenly sounded from the horizon, and a figure in yellow armor rushed over crazily with a large amount of air waves. The figure quickly landed not far from Zhou Hao and the others. Waves of air surged, blowing against Su Ling, the tall burly man, and the others as they hurriedly stabilized themselves. Battalion Commander Chu, you're still alive. That's great, where's the blue horn blood wolf? 
the person was first delighted when he saw Battalion Commander Chu and the others before he shouted anxiously. Battalion Commander Chu was stunned when he saw who it was. President, President He, why, why is it you? What? Other than me, who else could it be? He Biao glared at Battalion Commander Chu angrily. Among the seven publicly known Grandmaster dot level experts in the entire Huadong city, six of them have their own roles. As for Commander Zhao, he has to oversee the entire city and can't move around easily. Therefore, the only one who is able to rush over to help is me. I rushed over as soon as I received the distress signal from the south station. Damn. Halfway through his sentence, He Biao cursed. His eyes widened as he stared fixedly at the huge wolf corpse not far away. When he arrived, he was so anxious that he did not notice the huge corpse lying on the ground. Seeing that battalion commander Chu and the others were fine, only now did he finally size up his surroundings. That was when he saw the huge wolf corpse lying there. Chu. Battalion Commander Chu, D. Did you kill the blue horn blood wolf? He Biao looked at Battalion Commander Chu in disbelief. Battalion Commander Chu was also dumbfounded. He had originally thought that President He had rushed over and killed the blue horn blood wolf, saving everyone. That was why he was so surprised when he saw President He arrive at the scene. Um, President He, Battalion Commander Chu, actually, it was this Grandmaster. Level expert who had killed the Blue Horn Blood Wolf. Just as He Biao and Battalion Commander Chu were feeling dumbfounded, a weak voice sounded. Swoosh. 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 He Biao and Battalion Commander Chu's gazes first gathered on the talking Su Ling, then swept over and finally focused on Zhou Hao Da. Chapter 19 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. You can name your conditions translator. Atlas Studios editor. Atlas Studios, you, a grandmaster. He Biao's eyes revealed the same suspicion as Battalion Commander Chu's. Because Zhou Hao was wearing standard armor and simply looked too unremarkable. After all, any grandmaster or master would have at least general dot level armor. Even if they wanted to keep a low profile, they would not deliberately wear standard armor. This was because armor was pretty much a second life for human experts. No one would be careless in this aspect. Zhou Hao shrugged. He ignored He Biao and Battalion Commander Chu's suspicions and took a step forward, directly arriving beside the Blue Horn Blood Wolf's corpse. Noel Duren reaching out, he grabbed the horn and exerted some strength in his arm. The hundred-meter tall giant wolf corpse turned over like a toy in his hand. Can I borrow a saber? He looked at the tall burly man. The tall burly man's mouth fell open, unable to react for a moment. It had to be known that Zhou Hao was dealing with the corpse of a high-level demon general that weighed dozens of tons. It would only barely move when pulled by ten helicopters flying at full speed. He Biao's pupils constricted. He could tell that Zhou Hao had not used much strength to do what he did just now. And for Zhou Hao to be able to flip the Blue Horn Blood Wolf's corpse so easily, he was undoubtedly a Grandmaster. Anyone below the level of Grandmaster would have been unable to do it. Here, use mine. After having confirmed that Zhou Hao was indeed the Grandmaster who had killed the Blue Horn Blood Wolf, he immediately threw his saber over. This saber of his was completely made of precious metals and king.level demon beast materials. Its weight alone was several hundred kilograms. Zhou Hao grabbed the saber casually. Holding He Biao's saber, he replied, Thank you. Then, he suddenly slashed at the head of the giant wolf corpse, cutting off the blue horn with the special lines. Upon seeing this scene, Battalion Commander Chu recovered from his shock. He quickly stepped forward and said guiltily, Sir, thank you for saving my life. I shouldn't have doubted your strength earlier. Zhou Hao waved his hand. It's fine. He then added, Battalion Commander Chu, the fur, bones, and blood of this blue horn blood wolf are all top-notch materials. I can't take everything away either. 
How about this? Before he could finish speaking, he Biao hurriedly shouted, Friend, our martial artist union is willing to buy the materials of this wolf corpse for 7 million yuan. 7 million. After hearing the price, Su Ling and the other eight genius students were shocked. Even with their family background, 7 million was still a huge sum of money. Zhou Hao was also stunned. They had offered 7 million. It was enough for Zhou Hao to buy seven villas in Yang Yuan residence. Battalion commander Chu reacted at that moment and immediately shouted, President He, that's a little inconsiderate of you. The Grand Master has already said that he wants to hand the materials to our southern station defense camp. He Biao curled his lips nonchalantly. Battalion Commander Chu, cut the crap. Name your price directly. 6.5 million and the position of Major General. Battalion Commander Chu shouted. Pfft, Battalion Commander Chu, you look like a rough guy on the surface so I didn't realize you were actually so sly. What? You even want to recruit him to your military? As he spoke, He Biao walked up to Zhou Hao enthusiastically. Brother, come to my Huadong Martial Artist Union branch. We will provide you with everything. Cultivation techniques, weapons, pills, anything you want. Sir, you should come to the military. Apart from cultivation techniques, weapons, and pills, we can also provide additional military rank privileges, Battalion Commander Chu shouted impatiently. The tall burly man, the members of the temporary team, the bodyguards, Su Ling, and the seven other students were all dumbfounded. They were just competing to buy the materials for the Blood Wolf corpse a moment ago. And now, all of a sudden, Battalion Commander Chu and President He were now competing to rope in this Grandmaster. Zhou Hao was also a little dumbfounded. In fact, after confirming that Zhou Hao was a Grandmaster, President He and Battalion Commander Chu quickly understood that Zhou Hao was definitely a newly dot advanced Grandmaster. Otherwise, Zhou Hao wouldn't have no armor or weapons on him. However, the rest of them had yet to figure this out. It was precisely because of this that they had first used the material as the catalyst and then quickly began to try to rope him in. The reason why they were in such a hurry was because they were worried that once the news spread, the various forces in the Huadong city would rush over and compete for him. After all, this was a newly dot advanced grandmaster. Such an existence was incomparably significant. If they could rope him in, the already established forces would immediately rise in power and gain more authority. President He, why do you have to compete with our military? Your martial arts union is already very powerful and you have no lack of grandmasters. Battalion Commander Chu glared. Although he himself was a master, he still had the support of the military and was not afraid to stand up against a grandmaster at all. In usual circumstances, he could give President He more face. But now that a grandmaster was involved, he couldn't care less. He Biao said impolitely, Battalion Commander Chu, who would complain about having too many grandmasters. On the other hand, I think it's best for your military to conserve your manpower. Seeing that President He and Battalion Commander Chu were on the verge of fighting, Zhou Hao did not know whether to laugh or to cry. He hurriedly said, President He, Battalion Commander Chu, the two of you should stop for a moment. Only then did President He and Battalion Commander Chu stop. They both looked at Zhou Hao. Chapter 20 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Mobilization from All Sides Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios, gentlemen, let's discuss the ownership of this Blood Wolf Corpse material first. As for joining a faction, I don't have any plans on that yet, Zhou Hao said slowly. Once Zhou Hao joined a faction, his identity would definitely be leaked. By then, the spies from the foreign races will also learn of his identity. This had happened too many times in the past hundred years on planet Earth. Therefore, Zhou Hao was very cautious. Hearing Zhou Hao say this, He Biao and Battalion Commander Chu couldn't help but reveal disappointed expressions. However, they didn't insist. 
After all, Zhou Hao was a grandmaster, and many experts on planet Earth were unwilling to be restricted and preferred to be alone after becoming grandmasters. In the end, the Blue Horn Blood Wolf was still bought by He Biao for 7 million. In fact, Zhou Hao knew that President He was doing him a favor. The most valuable thing about the Blue Horn Blood Wolf was its blue horn. If he cut it off and only sold other materials in the Merchant Alliance, he would at most get around 4 million. Taking out his crystal card, he bumped it with He Biao's crystal card and received the 7 million. While Zhou Hao was feeling excited, he looked at He Biao and returned the saber to him as he said, Thank you, President He. He Biao smiled. You're welcome. Come to my martial artist union building when you have the time and give me a chance to be a good host. Definitely. Zhou Hao was in a good mood as he replied. Then, he asked, President He, Battalion Commander Chu, I want to find the Scarlet Blood Vine in the Rhino Horn. Do you know which area has them? Battalion Commander Chu hurriedly said, Area 178. This is the active location of the single, horned rhino. As for the Scarlet Blood Vine, it's a little troublesome. You'll have to go to Area 192. It grows in a red swamp and you will have to search carefully to find it. Zhou Hao immediately opened the screen located on the arm of the standard armor. He keyed in Area 178 and Area 192. Swoosh! The radar screen immediately displayed the route of these two regions. Zhou Hao took a look and saw that it was not too far away. Thank you, Battalion Commander Chu. The mission is also over, so I'll be leaving first since I still have something to do. President He, I'll visit you in the Martial Artist Union building when I have the time. With that, Zhou Hao placed the shrunken blue horn into the portable backpack of his standard armor. Then, he took a step and his figure suddenly disappeared. The reason why he had accepted the guarding mission this time was primarily to familiarize himself with the wilderness area and secondly, to figure out his strength. Now that he knew that his combat strength had reached the level of a grandmaster, there was no point in continuing the mission. Therefore, Zhou Hao left decisively. This grandmaster is really swift and decisive. Battalion Commander Chu sighed. Then, he looked at the tall burly man and the other master artists and students and asked curiously, did you all see this grandmaster kill the blue horn blood wolf with your own eyes? The tall burly man and the others nodded. Su Ling said in admiration, that's right. I saw it with my own eyes. A grandmaster is really too powerful. He killed a high dot level demon general with a single punch. Battalion Commander Chu smiled and said, A Grandmaster is naturally powerful. Wait, what did you say just now? President He was also stunned for a moment as he stared intently at Su Ling. A single punch. Suddenly, Su Ling was being stared at by a Grandmaster and a Master. This made her extremely nervous. However, she still gritted her teeth and said, that Grandmaster Dot Level Expert really only used one punch. Dot Battalion Commander Chu and President He widened their eyes before asking the burly man and the others. After confirming that Zhou Hao had only used a single punch. A high Dot Level Grandmaster, he's definitely a high Dot Level Grandmaster. President He took a deep breath and looked extremely regretful. If I had known, I would have tried harder to recruit him just now. Battalion Commander Chu no longer hesitated and directly sent a message to Commander Zhao. An expert of such a level was worth roping in at all costs. At the same time, the students and bodyguards also secretly sent messages to their families. A high dot level Grandmaster. This was an existence comparable to Commander Zhao, who was in charge of a large city. In just a few minutes. Swoosh. 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 Energy waves surged as sonic booms echoed. The public and secret grandmasters in the Huadong city were all gathered together. Just the aura they emitted was incomparably powerful. All the mutated beasts, demon beasts, insects, 
and other foreign races within a radius of 10,000 meters were so frightened by their collective aura that they did not dare to move. Fortunately, Su Ling and the other students were already escorted away by the bodyguards. The tall burly man and the others also did not dare to stay any longer. Otherwise, even breathing would be difficult if they stayed here. Boom! An explosion sounded. A two-dot-meter dot tall middle dot aged man in black armor landed from the sky. Commander Zhao. Old Zhao, even you're here. I knew you couldn't sit still either. The grandmasters greeted each other. Commander Zhao was a high dot level grandmaster and a ward dot prodigy who ruled over Huadong City. It seems everyone is here. Commander Zhao, who had a calm aura and sharp eyes, swept a glance and smiled. Then I suppose we'll all have to rely on our capabilities now. With that said, he looked at Battalion Commander Chu. Little Chu, where's that person? Facing so many masters, even the usually carefree Battalion Commander Chu was as cautious as a child at this moment. He stammered, Commander, that Grandmaster has left. What? He left. Where did he go? Why didn't he stay? Are you sure he was a Grandmaster? Before Commander Zhao could speak, the other Grandmasters had already interrupted impatiently. 